Welcome to Tuesday's Thoughts. I'm Peggy Meyer. This week, I am sharing quotes from Trent Shelton. Today's quote reads, We are all a little broken. Broken crayons still color the same. What does it mean to be a little broken? Broken, if you look it up in the dictionary, means having been fractured or damaged and no longer in one piece or in working order, or of a person having given up all hope. In our lives, we have had at least one experience of physically being a little broken. Most of us have caught a cold or the stomach flu that has left us feeling under the weather, not 100% in working order. Some people have experienced more of these times than others, whether it is a severe illness or coping with a chronic disease. Or maybe you, like me, have experienced literally being broken, as in a broken bone. We can all be a little mentally and, and emotionally broken as well. We have all felt various emotions. Maybe we're a little sad, down, stressed, overwhelmed, frustrated, or angry. A person in a deep depression may have given up all hope of things getting better. They are mentally broken. If you have ever felt brokenhearted, lonely, let down, disappointed, or may have noticed you don't operate well when you're feeling like that, your brain and your heart are heavy and slowed down and it's hard to complete tasks. Even though we have all experienced times of being a little broken, we are still alive and breathing. We can still function at some level. Maybe we don't have a whole piece of a yellow crayon to color in the bright sun. Maybe we only have a small piece, but a broken crayon still colors the same. We can still color the sun yellow. Maybe we are not operating at 100%, but we're still operating. We are still alive and breathing. Even though we are a little broken, we can still show up to the world and color it in with all we have. We can still give it our best. Are you making excuses for not showing up because you're a little broken? Sometimes a little broken is better than being whole. Broken people learn and adapt. Our ancestors adapted to obstacles, to being knocked down. They've gone through hard times and survived. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. There are countless examples of people who have overcome extreme obstacles, who are a little broken, that are still living life to its fullest. Just Google people who have overcome adversity or disability or major life obstacles, you will find plenty of inspirational stories of people coloring their world and other people's worlds brightly with broken crayons. So today's positive solution tip is, when you're feeling a little broken, physically, mentally, or emotionally, do the following three things. Get up and move. Turn on some music and get up and dance like nobody is watching. Or take a walk. Or do some jumping jacks. Ride a bike. Do anything that makes your body move. You need to change your state. You need to stop being still and get out and move. Two, laugh. Go find some funny jokes, movies, or videos and read or watch them. Laughter is the best medicine for being a little broken. People have greatly improved their lives with laughter. Take a healthy dose of laughter each day. And three, repeat an affirmation to yourself. Retrain your brain to talk nicely to itself. Repeat an affirmation five times in a row, as many times throughout the day as you can. For example, I am kind, I am smart, I am loved, I am enough. And even better, say it in the mirror. I bet you'll feel better. 
Thank you for listening to Tuesday's Thoughts. I would love to hear what you do to make yourself feel better. Come back tomorrow for Wellness Wednesday and another quote from Trent Shelton. If you want to have all my daily thoughts in one easy location, ask to join my Facebook group, Positive Solutions for Life. Have a great day.